So let's review where we've gone so far. We've got a background in a scenario in step one. We've set up the LC author letters. We've set up the data set. And then we've produced individual letters by merging the two files into a new file. Now we want to produce a set of address labels because what's going to happen is those letters are going to be printed off and stuffed into envelopes. We want to make the whole process more efficient again by printing off a set of labels that can go in those envelopes. To do that, I'm going to start with a blank document again. For the labeling process, I'm going to start with the mailings tab again. I'm going to start that same merge, uh, mail merge wizard that I use for merging the letter. However, in step one, when we're asked what type of document are we working on, this time we're going to work on some labels for our envelope. Move on to the next step. Now we're going to have to configure and choose what kind of labels matches the kind of labels that we use for our printer. There's different uh, preset labels you have. So when you click on the label options button, you'll see uh, various sets of manufacturers. So the manufacturer we, uh, of labels we use is uh, Avery Spike Farm. And the type of label we're going to use is the product number 4782. So you can see uh, those labels have certain height and width. And you can line those labels up in your printer ready for printing once we have them created. I'll just click OK here to move on. And you can see a little preview of the labels on your page here. Now it's time to select our recipients. We have a list of recipients typed up from when we did our letter. And all we have to do is browse to find it and it'll immediately again browse in, in amongst the data sources that you may have created however we saved this uh, data data list in the word processing folder so let's navigate to that now that i'm in the word processing folder i'm going to find the data file which is called lc offers data and it has this um, key symbol on it which tells you that it's a, a database type file so i'm gonna click on the open button there and now we'll just get a preview of the data which matches what we've typed up. It just confirms that that's the correct data for these labels, which matches the letters that we um, produced earlier. We just click OK, and you can see that's the list we're going to use. Now it's time to arrange our labels in the next step. And to do that, we've got to place the fields into the labels. So any label for addressing should have a first name. We'll have a space there between first name and last name. Advance to a new line for the address data. So the first line, second line, and again using the enter key, we'll advance to the final line of our label, which contains the city. Now that you're happy with the layout and structure of the first label, it's time to replicate that layout for all the remaining labels for the, the rest of the five recipients, or however many recipients you're going to be posting your letter to. And to do that, you click on the Update Labels button. Once that's clicked, you can see that the layout of the first label is reflected on the, the, the remaining labels. Let's preview what the labels look like by clicking the next button and you can see there's a label produced for all of my addresses so I can uh, load up my printer and print off those labels. So finally we're going to complete the merge to a new document just as we did with the letter. So click on that button there and click Edit Individual Letters to merge to a new document. And choosing all of the recipients in our list, we have a new document with labels. OK, let's save that off. We'll save it as a Word document in our Word, uh, in our word Processing folder. And we're going to call this one uh, LC Offers Labels. And that's it saved off when you finish your um, mail merge assignment your um, examiner is going to look for four files so be careful that you, that you double check that the, this is the case with you that you have four files the first file being the letter that you produce called LCFE offers the standard letter the data set that's going to merge with that letter which has the key symbol the database file LCE offers data the merge version which has five letters uh, which is the merge of these uh, the offers in the data file 
and then of course the merge version of the labels file which joins uh, a label set with the data file.